Good morning, Bike TV. We're here in uh, Oakland, and we have our bicycles. We're going to go into San Francisco on the BART. That's the Bay Area Rapid Transit. That's their version of the subway in a very much shorter version, of course, truncated, if you will. Anyway, we're on our way into San Francisco because we're going to meet up with Andy Thornley of the San Francisco Bike Coalition, and he's the program director there. He's going to take us on a quick little tour and give us some advice on uh, bicycling in San Francisco. And also while we're there, the Tour of California is going on. That's an eight-stage bike race that uh, the first stage is going on today in San Francisco. It's a time trial, and it's uh, a little over one mile, but it goes along the Embarcadero, then straight up to Coit Tower. So that should be kind of exciting. All that and more on Bike TV. California. We're here with Andy Thornley, as promised, from the San Francisco Bike Coalition. Good morning. Good to meet you. Welcome to San Francisco. Thank you. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about San Francisco Bike Coalition? Well, San Francisco Bicycle Coalition is uh, a 5,300 member nonprofit organization dedicated to the proposition that bicycling should be a normal, routine, plausible way to get around the city. We've got all sorts of campaigns going on. The big issue is uh, building up the bicycle network, a citywide network of, of bike lanes and bike ways. The big campaign now is that we can actually have a continuous route from the bay to the beach, from the ferry building all the way to the Pacific Ocean. We also do things like bike parking, the valet bike parking here, but also legislative efforts to get better parking facilities in buildings. Uh, currently, we've won uh, the planning code in the city. Uh, if you give uh, parking to cars, uh, either it's a public or a private parking lot, you have to have uh, parking for bikes. We also do a lot of work on access to transit. All of the buses, the muni buses that ride around the city have racks on the front of them. Yes. So you can put your bike on the front of the bus, uh, we're, one of our big projects now is the Bay Bridge, a uh, 1930s era pair of bridges. The quake in 1989 kind of shook them up. Uh, Caltrans has been fixing them and they're rebuilding the eastern piece and that's going to have a bike head uh, pathway on it. The western part, the San Francisco part, is only just getting retrofitted. and. Uh, we're pushing to have bike ped access on that western span as well, so that you'll be able to actually bicycle from San Francisco to Oakland or halfway to Treasure Island. There's this wonderful little yes. island floating yeah. out there, former Navy base. San Francisco is going to take that over as its newest neighborhood. I think that's a real uh, uh, rule of civilization that you should be able to walk from any neighborhood in the city to any other neighborhood. How do you get all the volunteers out here? How do you? So how's that happening? It always uh, uh, warms my heart when we put out a call for volunteers to say, come help us with this event or that event. And people come out because they, they love the cause, they love the Bike Coalition. We've done close to a thousand in a day. So it's, it's possible to just continue to expand. It's like, it's like the way bees make a honeycomb. You just give more equipment, get things started, and then the volunteers self-organize out all the way down. We have a permanent facility down at the ballpark. Um, we do a lot of the events in the city. And at this point, we're on schedule to open up a first bike parking facility down at the terminus of our local uh, short line uh, commuter rail, the Caltrain. And that's a big step for us. Now, one thing is, we are standing right here. This is pretty important. We are standing here uh, at the site of where there was once a, a, a mean old double-decker, triple-decker highway. Uh, yeah, in 1989, everything kind of slipped. And uh, for a few seconds, everything was shaking. And of course, that chunk of the Bay Bridge kind of tumbled down. Yes. Uh, and lots of stuff was, was broken. Uh, and there were a number of great silver linings that came out of that, uh, including that Embarcadero Freeway that you alluded to, which uh, was damaged enough so that the state uh, Department of Transportation, Caltrans, or Cartrans as we call them, uh, <laughs> said, hmm, looks like we maybe have to fix this. And the mayor, uh, Art Agnos, San Francisco Mayor Art Agnos, said, you know, maybe we shouldn't fix it. Maybe we ought to just knock it down. 
and it was pretty controversial. So Mayor Agnos, a brave man and a, and a man of great foresight, said, no, you know, I really think it would be nice to, to reunite the city with its waterfront. What a wonderful thing. And political struggle back and forth, but eventually the decision was made to knock it down. And you now we have this beautiful boulevard that has a bike lane and transit. It has evolved or, or re-emerged as a wonderful people space. Once this was built and refurbished, it looked beautiful. The car, the traffic kind of disappeared. It kind of disappeared, yeah. It, it can create something like this and drivers go other places or they just decide to take mass transit or they decide to walk or bike. We still have a little bit of that problem with the mythology of the quanta of cars that must be carried. That uh, if you've got a certain a street and it's got a thousand cars moving down it, if you uh, rearrange the lanes, give some lanes over to bicycles, people say, well, those thousand cars, uh, it's like squeezing a balloon. They're going to pop out someplace else. But as you say, it turns out, experience shows, a lot of those trips just go away. Yeah. If you take away car capacity, those cars don't necessarily get diverted or sit on top of each other. Some of those people say, ah, nuts, I'm going to stop driving. I'll take the bus, I'll get a bike, I'll start walking. Yeah. We've seen that in a lot of projects around the city. Well, Andy, thank you for talking to us. And now Andy's going to be joining us in a short bit. We're going to do like some kind of small tour, take a look at a few of the sightseeing kind of touristy things, and, and also some advice on riding and coming to San Francisco. Absolutely. bicycles right here there we are the ferry building this beautiful building here that uh, predates the 1906 earthquake had been kind of trapped behind this awful freeway now it's open to the public one of the uh, the, the side benefits of taking down this Embarcadero freeway uh, is that we've opened up right away for trolley cars and here comes a historic f-line trolley They've come from all over the world. I think that's an old Philadelphia streetcar. And it's a really wonderful thing to not only bring people on the street this way, but uh, to give these old trolley cars a new life. Fisherman's Wharf to a lot of the world is San Francisco. Of course, you've got uh, Alcatraz is just off here and you can catch a ferry. You can rent a bike here and here and here. There are bike rental places all over the place. But the funny thing is that that shoreline bike route, we've just coming along the Embarcadero, that bike route falls apart in here. And even though there are more bike rental places per square foot in Fisherman's Wharf, it's really one of the worst places in the city to ride a bike. The Bike Coalition now has a big campaign to try to fix this. A lot of people ask me, what's the trick in San Francisco riding with all the hills? And the basic trick is to avoid the hills. There's a very celebrated and delightful route uh, in the city, which is known as the Wiggle, which is all about getting around Twin Peaks and not having to actually go over Twin Peaks. So the short answer is with hills, you, you go around them. And a lot of times it's just plain faster to take a longer trip around than to try to go over. Well, my understanding, remember, I'm just a uh, Polish-Scottish guy from the suburbs. But what we've got is the, uh, the dragon dances. They come uh, for the Chinese New Year and they visit shops. 
They bomb them with fireworks and they, they help bring good blessings to the, the shops. We've come to the end of our bike tour and we thought where more appropriate place to end it than one of San Francisco's more beautiful public spaces, Union Square. Union Square, yeah. About two or three years ago, Union Square was made over in a, an elaborate uh, redesign. And what you see here is a, basically a brand new Union Square. And it's an, often a popular point for critical mass to come and do a few loops around oh, Union Square. So we're last we're Friday- We're gonna tie it in with bicycles yeah, one way or another, right? We like to think it's kind of a critical mass destination. So when you come last Friday of the month, you come get a look at Union Square. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, thank you. This has been great. Yeah. Thank you for the tour it's and been a uh, pleasure. the advice. And uh, we look forward to having you on Bike TV. And uh, you should see this pretty shortly. I yeah. Hope. Folks, tune in. We'll see you there.